Well, what's your opinion of the society now that you've taken a look around their headquarters? Uh, Paimon thinks it's pretty chill. Aren't you complimenting them the entire time as well? Paimon doesn't remember exactly what you said, but wasn't it something along the lines of encouraging people to embrace their new lives with optimism? There's only one potential problem. If the society does too good a job managing and rehabilitating its members, you may be soon out of a job. Mm. <laughs> that is certainly a possibility. But at this point in time, they're still reducing my workload by managing and rehabilitating prisoners in my stead. I wanted to see just how much they've managed to accomplish, and also get a sense of Dugier's plans for the future. I arranged for a meeting out of curiosity, but then I noticed some faint hints of dissonance. Dissonance? I'm sure the Traveler has sensed it too. It's a bit hard to put into words, but there's something off about that place. As expected, you also picked up on it. The yep, whole yep. truth is a bit complicated, so I'll explain everything to you later. I can tell you right now, though, that this was an unexpected turn of events. I had hoped to take care of it in secret, but now a confrontation may no longer be avoidable. It's hard to predict what might happen next. Uh, you completely lost my mind. Why don't you take this opportunity to check back on the gathering place? Just tell them you left something of yours there by accident. Okay. If my hypothesis is correct, Dugier should already have left. And with his watchful eye removed, you may well get a very different reception from the members. Interesting. Uh, can you just tell us exactly what to expect? I'm just following the most popular playbook in Fontaine. Investigate, obtain evidence, and then use the truth to render judgment. It's been so long since I got to watch a performance at Opera Epicles that I've even begun to miss it. I'll trust you for now. I'll take this as another one of your jokes. I'll explain everything to you later, but right now we need to seize this opportunity. Okay. Find out what you can from them now while they're all in one place. We might not get another chance like this anytime soon. I think if one of our playable characters is turn evil or something. I don't know, just, just a random thought, just, just like, I don't know, just what if. Huh. Yep. It's just as Risley said, seems like Dugier is no longer here. The Duge, the you Duge is gone. Is something off about this place, right? So let's see if we can feel something out. Okay. Paimon will do her best to help. Oh, uh, I also don't know where to start. Let's see if we can strike up the conversation. He's eyeing on us. Wait, he you knows. guys are. Why are you so surprised? Thing, and we figured we might have left it here by accident. We'll be on our way as soon as we find it. Oh, okay. Did anyone see a glass bottle by any chance? Um. Uh. <sighs> what is this? Nobody? It was about the size of my hand. I was using it Store some spice powder. <laughs> I see. It's okay. There's no need to be nervous. It's not like we lost a whole bag of mora or anything. We'll just look for it ourselves if none of you caught a glimpse of it. We're not gonna tell Risley anything, don't worry. I I'll go find Mr. Dugier. No! No need! We're just looking for something. Why does he have to know? Uh, this is incredibly suspicious. I feel like they are all terrified of something. We can look around for it, yeah? 
Uh... You guys suck. You guys are so bad. It's not even. <laughs> it's like going to somebody and say, "So, did you steal my money or not?" What money? Uh, I don't know how what money even is. Is it? Uh, what? The thing that you should change stuff with other people to gain something else, you know? Oh, well, what what could that ever be? I don't know such a thing. You show them like a, 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 a like, you know, a hundred dollar bill or something or something like that. I don't know how it works in, in, in other countries, but, you know, uh, over here, you know, a hundred, a hundred buckaroo. And then it's like, it's like, oh, i never seen something like that before. I have no idea what that is. Hello? How can I help you? Can you give us the rundown again? The Beret Society offers a variety of resources and benefits to its members, and, uh, I, I mean, you've already heard my spiel. I don't know anything beyond what I've already told you. Uh-huh. You don't know anything? I, sorry, that's not what I meant. It's just, there's nothing more I can tell you. Damn, you, you are too suspicious, it's not even... <laughs> hey, big guy! W what do you want? Isn't this how you greeted us earlier? Take a deep breath and let it all out. Oh yeah, that's right, you, you sure are a fast learner. Where did your optimis uh, optimism go? Uh, I, I ate something earlier, so I'm... Um falling into a bit of a food coma and um i mean not everyone can be super upbeat all the time right i guess you're looking for something you said i, I didn't see it but uh it should be somewhere nearby uh-huh 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 i see i see i see oh you know what i'm pull up my squad here okay now we're just gonna attack random stuff Yeah, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, but you can't check out the books right now. We weren't thinking about that to begin with, but weren't you super friendly just a moment ago? Sorry. Okay, Paimon sees what you meant now. Seems like they really don't want to talk to us, so let's just head back. Yeah, this is... This is just... You really? Oh, well, well, well. you really can't check them out. <laughs> Please understand. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. If you don't try to be any more suspicious, Jesus, May man. I, I don't. I don't remember. Would that follow us? No. It's it's our range. It just stays there. Oh, you're back. How were things at their headquarters? It was as if they had all turned into completely different people. They all clammed up. They're all acting super scared. Hmm. That would prove my suspicions. The dissonance I mentioned earlier was precisely that fleeting moment of fear behind the cheerful facade. Uh, like the one guy we found hiding in the box. Right. He was acting super scared too when we saw him at the gathering place. Hmm. Actually, has he just been acting super paranoid since we first met? Yeah. And that's precisely why I took his hat. Oh, he took it. Okay. It was not. Oh, so the one who started it all was. It was you all along. Yes, it was. It's because I wanted to figure out what's really going on. I don't believe any of Dugier's talk about unstable mental states. How long have you been investigating this? Not too long. Dugier made very elaborate preparations for my visit. But I don't know. It almost feels like the performance was too elaborate. 
Okay, but if you think something's wrong, why don't you just take the whole society into custody? Mm. Oh god. Aren't you the Duke? You can do whatever you I want I want to play more place. Dead Island. I've been playing a bit of Dead Island recently. Uh, I've been having really fun. And then the Cyberpunk went on sale, so I, I bought that too. Um, so that game I will try. With my RTX one, uh, what was it? Uh, one fifty, uh, one thousand fifty. You know what we would call it? Ti, I think it is. I don't, I don't know if it can handle the games. Uh, uh, the game, the game. Um, it's probably be able to hand it, handle it fairly decent on medium, maybe. Or I might have to go like performance mode, where like I have to lower like everything. And have something a bit higher, maybe. <laughs> like the effect well, low, or something shadow low. Just give know. me the word, and I'll hand you the cuffs. That was so random. Why did I, wait? How did I get to talk about that? Oh, because I just ran this bird out. I, I wanted to put dead items on. In all seriousness, however, cuffs and the like should be used sparingly. They're mostly for show. Everything I do is on display. The way people see me act determines the kind of world I can create down here. And I've always striven to appear fair and reasonable to the people. Uh, that sounds a bit deep. Paimon's not sure she got all of it. The Duke's action will set the tone. The Duke's value will be emulated by the people. Yeah, you fit the nail on the head. I have to lead by example if I want to maintain expectations of justice and order. And that's why even though Dugier had already let a few things slip, I didn't want to turn on him without irrefutable evidence. All right, so you're saying Dugier has figured out some way to control the members of his society. And even though the members are acting all optimistic and motivated, it's all just a show. I doubt it's that simple. I feel like we're still missing something. Indeed. He certainly seems to be using some coercive methods to turn his members into the most upbeat and motivated group of people you've ever seen. That won't turn out well in the long run. I have some faith, though, that some of the members understood the hint I gave during our visit. The line has been set, and it's quite likely that a fish will bite. Fish? Bite? Let's give them some time. My guards will need it to finish their investigation, too. You can find me in my office when the time comes. Okay. What do we do in the meantime, though? <laughs> hey. So what 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 is we doing in the meantime? Oh, okay. Oh, we wait for night time. Does this work? Well, wait, what's next thing? It's nope, it works. Evening. Risley's probably wrapped up his investigation. Just healing up my team a little bit. has no idea what that guy's thinking. Let's just go find him and ask him what he's really up to. Thank you. That's a good deal. Fun. I want to play more Dead Island. It was really fun. Like the only thing I hate the most because I'm very paranoid and I hate stuff coming, you know, uh, behind me and stuff. So, so when the zombies try to attack me from the behind, I always get jumped because I feel like they hear something. You say, you turn out, it's right, like. In your back, you're like, oh my god! And you just jump, kick it, just like, oh my god! And you just swing like a madman, and like, and then take a breather, like, holy crap! And then, and then, and then you just hear like, rah, rah, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! And then they, they, they all just come at you, and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna die! And you just run for your left, or if there were Molotov, if you have the time. Oh, here you are. Unless you everyone's to lucky bag on the you. welfare meals tonight. <laughs> It's a very old game now, I think, but still very fun. The the graphics are very outdated, as I can see, but uh, it's very fun still. Let's just get straight to the point. Has anything else happened with the society? Patience, Paimon. Even as the situation continues to brew, we still need to make sense of what we learned so far and go over any sticking points. Let's say it's less scary than playing Resident Evil, because Resident Evil has such a good graphic. That the monsters, zombies, they look terrifying, way more terrifying. 
I'm actually still thinking about the first thing that came to my mind when I noticed something amiss. Namely. You know, like I said before, I'm 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 very I'm I'm easily scared. You laugh at it and think it's fun, you know, but you know, the simple things can sometimes just scare me, you know. You wouldn't think it, but it, it does. Weirdly enough. Why didn't anyone come to me about it? Oh, that's a good point. Could whatever they're afraid of be so powerful that even you won't be able to do anything about it? What would be so powerful that you can match his grace? But even if such a thing existed, how could they be so sure without checking with me first? It'd be one thing if it was just one or two people, but it seems like everyone's convinced that I won't be able to help. Which leads me to believe that it's more likely Dude. that they think I just wouldn't care to help them. Maybe something with the Fatui? But why, why, why would the Fatui want to... Because you instigated Dogier Don in the first place. Because you have been working with Dogier all along? Yes, something like that. Dugier must have told them Dugier. something to make them Dugier. think I won't what take their Dug side. Dugier? Dugier? So it became imperative for me to refute that and prove my true stance. Of course, I had originally planned to do this in a more covert way, but I had to improvise when you identified the guy who'd lost his hat with everyone present. There was no way to keep our investigation a secret after that. That makes sense. Now that you mention it... The last thing that guy wanted was for Dugier to find out that he'd lost it. He would have never brought the matter up on his own. But now, not only has Dugier found out that he'd lost his hat, he's also realized that we were the ones who found it. That likely set his internal alarms off all at once. The hat must be hiding something. Yes, that's the conclusion I came to as well. It's the only thing that could explain the fear. It's most likely they are hiding a bald spot. <laughs> Everyone is hiding a bald spot and they are so scared because they feel like, you know, Rice won't be able to help with his bald spot. If we didn't act right then and there, Dugier would probably come up with some other way to hide the truth and we'd be back to square one. So after giving the matter some thought, I tossed that black gem onto the ground. Oh, yeah, we really. I must say, I was pretty satisfied with the results. Ah, so you did that on purpose? You did everything on purpose. Yes, that's right. Of course, that box was discovered as part of our investigation of the society from the very beginning. Oh, it was their box. I had no way to know if any of the members had actually seen the gem before, but since I had to do something, I decided to gamble. Don't gamble. Uh, so that's the hint you were talking about earlier. I mean, if you gamble, gamble responsibly, uh, be of age, and you will most likely lose. 99% of the time you will most likely lose. But, you know, just, just always remember, I don't gamble myself because I don't even have the money to gamble. So, um, I Even if I had, I don't know. If I had that much money, then why not, I guess, for fun, because I had money. But if you don't have that much money, just gamble, don't. It's, it's too big a risk, and you will most likely not win. You're not him. You're, you're just not him. Okay. But also, always be prepared. You know, don't go in with something you're not prepared to lose. Okay. So if you, if you have, like, a thousand dollars or something, I don't know. Or a hundred dollars. You're like you. You prepared to lose that a hundred dollars? Then sure, gamble if you want to and see if you can win. Possibly something. Possibly, but I, I doubt it. So don't gamble. Again, early, I would suggest. So that's the hint you were talking about earlier. Right. And I said back there that I had no idea what the gem represented. That should have been enough to let people know that it's still early days for my investigation. And since I was traveling with you, heroes who have never turned a blind eye to evil and injustice, they would also understand that we're here to help, rather than to tolerate or uphold the status quo. You used <coughs> us as a part of your plan too! 
So that's why you wanted us to come along. My apologies. There was no time and quite a lot to explain, so I figured it might be easier to just let you see a few things for yourselves. But I can assure you that I've now told you everything there is to know. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Of course, you're under no obligation, but I would really appreciate it if you could continue to lend me your support and help me figure out the true secret behind the society. Would you be willing to lend me your support? Sure. Uh, but Paimon's still mad at you! Sure, if all you need is uh, some help planning. Uh, sure, if I just need to fight them off. <laughs> you have my thanks. Now, there are still two outstanding matters in our investigation. The first is the secret of the hats. I've examined one before. There was nothing suspicious about the item itself. Okay. The other is the true purpose of the black gem. We haven't been able to get anything out of anyone with actual knowledge of it. It's my hope that a brave fish will take my bait and venture outside of their dark and murky pool. I'll put some music on while we wait. Oh, okay. Very quiet music. Like a mastermind, just sit here listening to music and wait. To pray. Your son's time waiting in what? Here it comes. Excuse me, Your Grace, but may I come in? I'm afraid that someone's been following me. Please do. Well, well, well. I apologize for my lack of composure. These two are the guests that came with you to our gathering place, correct? You know what? Uh? Yes, my lover Fasol told me all about you. Please, okay. help us, Your Grace. He's in great danger right now. Slow down, take a deep breath, and start from the top. What happened at the Society? I'm sorry, Your Grace. I will try. I think I should start from when you saw Fasol last. Fasol? You mean, when we saw him at the gathering place? Yes, he fled immediately, but many members are hot on his heels. Thankfully, he still managed to meet up with me and explain everything that had happened. Now that he's lost Dugier's trust, what awaits him is agonizing censure. Censure? Censure is Dugier's method of establishing control. As well as the thing we all fear the most. Rather than listening to me explain what it is, Your Grace, please just let me show it to you. Okay. Every secret may be found within the black gem, the hat. Uh. Ah, here you are. I was wondering where you had run off to in such a hurry. Oh. Please excuse us, Your Grace. It was never our intention to disturb you like this. You see, Avisa's mental state has been rather unstable ever since she arrived at the fortress. Uh huh, I see. She rambles often, has hallucinations. It may be best to dismiss her babbling as random gibberish. I don't recall hearing a knock or giving permission for you to come in. Oh, oh okay. my apologies. I merely did not wish for your grace to be alarmed. Had I not been so focused on recovering her, I would have followed all the rules of etiquette to the letter. So please forgive my discourtesy. You're broken. No punishment there too. <laughs> like we believe you. We know exactly what you're thinking. You got some nerve showing your face here. I need. <laughs> Indeed, like I'd believe you. Please, there's no need to be upset. It's only natural to want to side with the poor sick girl, but I know his grace to be a reasonable man. Uh huh. Well then, what if the reasonable man wants to hear the lunatic out? 
That would be perfectly fine with me. Oh, and just so you know, we've also found the missing Mr. Fasal. I had no idea why he was so upset about losing his hat, really. Thankfully, he has already returned to his senses. We've brought him back to our place, so there's no need to worry. <laughs> Rip, he did. <laughs> he did. He gone, did he gone? He, he did. I'm sorry, Your Grace. I don't have anything more to say. 